So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, iPhone XS 2022 December. Let's just kind of see how long it takes to turn on, but I want to review this thing because I want to take a look at some of the older iPhones now. We've talked a lot about the 14s, I still got some more content to make on those, but you know, the iPhone XS came out in 2018, iPhone XS Max came out that year as well. You could see boots up in about 20 seconds here. The phone retains that iPhone X-like design, but now you can grab these older, cheaper iPhones at ridiculously low prices, and I just kinda wanna see, are they really worth it at this point? You know, the iPhone 14 models here this year are kinda just iterations of some of the older designed iPhones. They just have gotten squared edges and a little bit reduced notches, but if you can see, the overall experience is still gonna be quite similar on both phones. So taking you back a little bit with the iPhone XS, we are taking a look at an Apple A12 Bionic that's coupled with four gigabytes of RAM. Now, four gigabytes of RAM was a big deal by comparison to something like the XR because that ensured that this phone would be a little bit better performing long-term than something like the iPhone XR. When talking about display here in December 2022, you're still looking at the OLED variety, which essentially means that you still have very good vibrant colors on board with good contrast ratios. If we go ahead and scroll through, you'll just see things still definitely pop on this phone for sure. It does have that notch, but some people say they prefer that notch right there. And keep in mind that just because the XS wasn't a super popular phone doesn't mean it's not a good pickup right now. For those of you who wanna try iPhone and don't wanna pay big bucks, let's take a look at what you can get an iPhone XS for at the current time. So Apple iPhone XS, you could see even XS Maxes are going for under 300. These phones are pretty good for this price. Look at iPhone XS right there, 179 to 327. 184 for an iPhone XS. Yes, 4G phone, don't get me wrong, but 5G hasn't blown me away just yet. You know, yes, it is very fast, but I haven't always been in situations where I'm seeing those 500,000 megabyte speeds all the time. So what I'm saying is 4G phones still work okay right now. Look at this, 199 right here. This phone was $1,000 when it came out. This is just like, man, I lost all kinds of money on that one. Let's go ahead and go over here to the App Store and you can see this opens up just fine. So what we talked about with the iPhone 10 is how the phone was not performing as well as it used to, but still was usable in 2022, but what about the iPhone XS? So we're gonna go ahead and open up some applications here and kind of just see what we get. I could tell you I did test this before I went ahead and made this video, and what I could tell you is that this one actually impresses me even more for an older iPhone than the iPhone X. I mean, obviously it should, it is a newer phone here, but what I wanna tell you is that this one I was having a hard time seeing, is it even, that much slower than any of the current iPhones in terms of just everyday usability. So that's why I brought the 14 into this video. You can see, yes, the apps are a little snappier here on the newer phone for sure with Apple A15 Bionic chip, but that little bit of a difference is not gonna be the end of the world. So we'll kind of take a look here. We'll go into games and you'll see, look at the 10s did just fine there. We'll go into apps. A little faster there. Okay, now you wanna shut me up. Pretty good there for the tennis. we'll go to arcade. You can see 14, gonna be a faster for sure, but the tennis is still usable. Now when you go through here, you're not gonna see too much lag or anything like that. So this is a test of the iPhone XS, and this is a good, a foot, a good, smartphone, not used to these smaller iPhones. You can see really no lag, anything like that. Hey, the swipe is, the sweetie, the swipe is good enough for sure. So yeah, texting, taking notes, stuff like that, not gonna be a big issue. Let's go ahead and see if I have any games on board here. We'll go ahead and open up Motor Combat right there. And keep in mind, some people really like the modern 
industrial look of the newer phones, but I think I like the way the older phones felt in the hand a little bit more. They just kind of hug that palm right there. And not only that, they're just comfortable to hold. They're more ergonomic, I think, for the shape of people's hands. But you can see you can play this game. Now, I will say that the game takes a little bit longer to boot up than something like the iPhone 14 Pro, obviously. And the back does get a little warmer than those phones, but that doesn't mean you can't actually play games and stuff on here. There's gonna be no issue whatsoever with those type of tasks. So yeah, you could see even better than what we've seen on the iPhone X's performance. So A12 is definitely still usable in 2022. So this phone would be four years old right now. It's gonna be heading into its fifth year already, if you can believe that. And then on top of that, you do have the latest versions of the software, iOS 16.1.2. So you're gonna run the same software you're gonna run on the brand new iPhone. So one thing I wanna talk about is battery life. And I have not seen this do much worse than before. It's not quite as good on 16 as it once was, but this phone can still make it through a day provided that you're monitoring your use and you're not doing overly heavy use. But the 10s, the regular model was never that iPhone that would definitely just give you the all day and then some battery life. That was always the max phone. So I'm not disappointed with the battery life so far with the iPhone 10s. I think it's still usable for sure. Camera though is something that I think the 10s was a pretty good upgrade as well. They made it sharper. It had HDR finally. And then the front facing camera was also a little better than the iPhone 10 as well. So this one I like more to recommend for a backup iPhone than even the iPhone 10 because it has a faster CPU, has the better camera system. Yes, it doesn't have that triple camera, which yes, they have definitely went to town on the camera, but it even has some better things than like an iPhone 14, for example, like this camera can do the telephoto lens and go up to 10X. That's something you can't even do on the newest 14. Also, the video was capable of 4K 60, and it still looks amazing in 2022, for sure. The focus is great. Quality provided good lighting is really good. So there's really no complaints there. It's just incredible how long lasting the camera has been on the iPhone XS. Now, when it comes to the audio here in 2022, December, it's also pretty good. Not quite as loud as what we're seeing on these newer 14 models. Those have actually gotten a little bit better, but it's still usable. And it didn't have the best reception, the best antennas for, you know, call quality and stuff like that. That's This is one of those years, but it's just a beautiful looking phone still. And at these ridiculous prices, is this iPhone XS something to consider? And the answer to that question is it depends. If you're looking to try the iPhone experience and you don't want like an SE or something, you can actually get a bigger iPhone like this with a better OLED display, just a better experience, maybe a little bit slower, but man, it's under the price of an SE. So take your pick, a used iPhone with 6.1 inch, even the XS Max you can find with higher, you know, with a cheaper price than the SE. But this one, look at this, 512 gig, 269. This is ridiculous. You're getting $1,000 experience here just a couple years back, few years back, for the price of a budget Android phone. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's just incredible. It's kind of like getting a really good old used luxury car. It's just an awesome deal, provided that it was taken care of. So make sure you look for one with good battery, health, good condition, and doesn't have scratches all over the dang phone. So if somebody took care of it, like kind of like I do here with my devices, you're gonna be in really good shape. So that's it for me on the iPhone XS December review. I actually think it performs even better than the iPhone 10. It doesn't get that warm. You know, the obviously the benchmarks aren't gonna stack up to the newer phone, but you can't go wrong. The iPhone XS at these ridiculous prices now, while it was overlooked when it came out, a lot of people knew in the long haul, that's going to be a sweet deal once people start getting rid of those older phones because it performed well. A lot of people skipped it because of iPhone 10, but it gave you a better camera, better battery, better speed. And now you can get this at budget Android prices, use market.
Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you're picking up a 10s secondhand or you have one or you've been staying on one for years. You have a 10s, 10s Max. And let me know what else you want to see going forward. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. Thank you.